In this tutorial, we are going to cover communicating with comments in Google Sheets. Comments allow you to communicate with other users that you have shared on the same Google Sheet about certain topics or issues pertaining to cells or ranges of cells. They are incredibly useful and I've used them quite a lot. So what are they good for? Imagine you have co-editors discussing modifications to a Google Sheet. Instead of having a Google Hangouts or a chat about them or using emails, you can actually burrow into the cell or the range of cells in Google Sheets and have a conversation over those issues on the spot, on the fly and make modifications. You can use them to monitor teams. So for example, if you're a team leader and you notice that some of your team members have not completed a task yet, you can send them a quick uh, comment and they'll direct them to the exact cell that they need to modify, change or update. And uh, you can carry out a discussion. Or if you have a query about a value on a cell that one of your users has added, then you can click on that cell, create a comment and send it, directing it to that particular person. Or comments can be great for discussion that's in planning, for example, charts or other documents or asking opinions on styles or formatting in your Google Sheet. So who can access comments on Google Sheets? Anyone with edit permissions or anyone with comment permissions can access comments in Google Sheets. All right, so let's dive in to creating our first comment in Google Sheets. Let's get started. For example, let's do an overall comment for this great entry here we can do this by clicking on our cell that we want to enter and we'll use our menu bar first so we can go insert and down the bottom here to comment and you can see here that we can enter our comment so let's make an overall one for all users on this sheet i might say hey everyone will need to enter their class grades by the end of day of the day thanks cool and when i am done i can hit comment and the comment will post now when i hover over that cell the comment appears and also up the top right hand corner you'll see a tiny little triangle let's see i'm not sure if it zooms in but let's try a quick zoom in to 150 percent there you go and you can see that there's a little yellow triangle here that indicates that this has a comment on it and you also notice down the bottom that there is a one here and that indicates that there is a comment in this particular sheet tab all right so across the top also we have a tick which means that the comment has been marked as resolved or these three ellipses here and it says more options so if you click on them and open them you can say you can edit it so maybe I made a mistake here uh, I might say edit and I'll go thanks because I only said thank thanks you legends and I can hit save or I can click link to this comment so if I click on that, that'll give me a link I can copy and paste and add into my URL. So we hit done and that's done. Okay, so if I wanted to add something else or if my users wanted to add something else, they can click on a reply here as well. All right, I'm going to jump over to Mrs. Yagi-san Adaday's account, which is here. Okay, so you can see that uh, Mrs. Yagi-san Adaday is here with this hovering up and her name appears. Now, she can go over and click it and she can see who sent the comment, which was me, Yagi San Adade. And she could also uh, reply because she has edit permissions. She say, thanks for the heads up. And she hits reply and that comment goes through. Now, heading back to my account, you can see that she is, uh, she is here and this is my account over here. We can see that she's made a reply and other people can reply as well. Also up in the top right hand side next to the big green share button you can see open comment history so let's open that up and you can see a history of all the comments that have occurred on this sheet and earlier on today I've made a few practice comments just to get ready for this tutorial. Okay to finish the comment you can click the tick button which marks as resolve and hides the discussion. Now, anytime you want to bring that back, you can go back into your comments and open it up. Where is it? And reopen the comments here. And they're back. Okay. And I will resolve that again. And let's say I wanted to make a comment again. Let's just repeat the comment we made earlier. We're in cell A1. This time around, instead of going up to insert, I can right click 
and go down to comments down here and insert a comment. All right, we won't continue because you know how to do that now, but you might have also noticed the keyboard shortcut for comments. I will delete this one again, so we'll go cancel. Let's hit the keyboard shortcuts, which is Control, Alt, and M, and that opens up the comment on the cell that you have chosen. And then you can add your comment as normal. Let's cancel that again. So we can also address a particular people in our comments and they will be sent an email with the comment directed towards them. So let's have a look at that. So as you can see here in the orange, there's a bit of an error. The student can't be absent, but also have a grade at the same time. So we want to query Mrs. Yagi-san Adade about this and see if she made a mistake with one of these. So let's click on the cell C3, or you can be D3, but she'll figure it out. And we can right click this time and go to comments. And this time we will contact her directly by typing the at Mrs. Yagi-san Adade at gmail.com. And there she is. Okay, so after you address the person, you can address the person anywhere in the message, but I usually do it at the start. Uh, we can then say, um, hey, uh, was the person absent? Or did they have a grade? And then I can click comment. Let's go over to Mrs. Yagi-san Adade's page now. You can see here, that's her there. See it on the sheet here. Uh, she's been in included in the conversation. If she has the chat open, we she can also see that her name has been addressed and she can comment on it as well. Let's uh, resolve that. And let's try that again this time. This time around, she's mis-entering a grade for a user. So we can click on this cell here and we can go Control, Alt and M. And I'll go Mrs. Yagi-san at today. And then I will say, hey, I think you missed a grade or an absent. Could you please take a look? Thanks. Okay, and then this time I'm going to assign it to Mrs. Yagi-san Adade. So I'll click and then I'll hit assign. Okay, so let's go over to Mrs. Yagi's account. And as you can see, an email has popped up from the communicate with comments spreadsheet that we were just working in. You can see here in emails, we've got a message from our communicating with comments uh, Google Sheet. There is a message. If you click on this, it'll open up the link to the spreadsheet. Or if you scroll down a bit, you can see a live action item. So here's a comment from me. And this is uh, Mrs. Yagi-san Adade's email. And you can see, hey, I think you missed a grade or an absent. Could you please take a look? Thanks. And assign to you. Inside the email, you can actually reply or mark it as done. Or you can open up the location of it by clicking on this button here. So um, we can add this dynamically and say, okay, thanks on it. And we hit reply or mark is done. But this time we'll just go into the spreadsheet itself. We can click on open here or the link up the top here. So let's go and click on open and head to the spreadsheet and I'll direct us straight to the comment. There it is there. We will update that. And it, we made a mistake here and it was just an absent person. So no worries. And then to update, we can go down and say, and we can say all updated. Thanks for the heads up. And she can hit reply. All right, if that's the end of the conversation, uh, it's usually the person sending that will do the resolve, or in her case, she may wish to resolve it if there's nothing more to discuss on the issue. Let's go back to my account, so back to here, and we can go back to this discussion. We received the message, or we may have received it in an email, and I can hit mark as done, and that will still stay in our history, but now it's complete from the document here. So you may have also noticed up the top here in the open comment history that you can set notifications. So usually the owner of the spreadsheet, their notifications will be set to all. And if you have large numbers of people working on the same doc document, this may become a little bit overwhelming, although they are usually consolidated in the one email, it can still become a bit of a pain. So you may wish to send this to only uh, those comments addressed to you. So at 
and then your email account or you may not want them at all if you're just the creator and you're leaving it to someone else to monitor so you can select none but for our case we'll hit none now on the other hand if you shared the account so back to mrs yagi son Adaday, you can see on notifications that she has only yours uh, so only anything that is addressed to her so at mrs yagi son Adaday, she will have those notifications emailed to her Sometimes the emails don't happen automatically and may take a few minutes for them to be sent across, but they will occur within uh, 15 to, or 20 minutes. Moving on. So let's add a final comment. So I'm over here. Mrs. Yagi-san Adaday has created a summary and she just wants an opinion on the formatting of it. So she's a shortcut ninja. So she will go control alt and M. So she hits at Yagi-san Adaday and say, hey, what do you think of this summary? I, oh, A R Y. I think users will find it useful. And she will, she will assign it to me as a question and click assign. Now, if I head back over to me, so I can see down the bottom on the sheet tab where it says sheet one tab that there's a little one that shows me how many comments that are currently with this sheet tab. If I create another sheet tab, uh, there's obviously, because it's brand new, there's no comments there. All right, let's go back to the sheet one. Now we can also show the comments. We can either right click and open up view comments or we can use this drop down button and click view comments and they will start to appear. And if you scroll down the entire document, all the comments will appear if you selected them. Okay, I need to reply to Mrs. Yagi-san out of day. I'll click on this and I'll say, and I will say, hey, that is a great idea. Thanks for your input. And hit reply. And if she's happy with that, let's go back to her account. She'll receive that almost automatically here, also in an email down the track. But she went, okay, that's been resolved. She'll click mark as done and then hide the discussion. So it's no longer here. And you see down the bottom on the sheet tab that that one comment no longer exists. If we go back to my account, again, that comment no longer exists. Okay, so communicating with comments in Google Sheets is a pretty broad subject and there's a lot to talk about in here, but uh, I think we've covered it okay. If you liked the tutorial, hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more of these tutorials, consider clicking that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.